Hello everyone. So in this video we are just going to see some examples on the differences between safe, regular and atomic registers. But let me briefly describe their characteristics before we move on. So a safe register does not provide any guarantees when a read is performed concurrently with a write. Only that the value that a read returns is in the value range of the register. So let's see an example. So you have two processes P1 and P2. And let's say process P1 performs a read, but at the same time process P2 performs a write. It writes value of 53 to the register. Then process P1, this read, could return any value that is in the range of the registers. It could return minus 57, it could return 1032. Everything is possible. So a regular register either returns the last value that was written to it or a value that is being concurrently written. So let's see an example. So again, if we have two processes P1 and P2, and let's say that process P1 performs two read operations. Well, at the same time, process P2 performs two write operations. So it first writes three to the register and then it writes value nine to the register. So it could be the case here that this first read operation of process P1 returns back 9. Why? Because it takes place concurrently with this write operation. And the second read could return back 3. Why? Because this read is concurrent with the write operation, this one. So it's okay for a regular register to return the previously written value, which in this case was value 3. Finally, an atomic register is one that ensures linearizability. So let's see an example, process P1, process P2, and then we have process P1 performing some reads, while well, process P2 performs some writes. First it writes value 9 to the register, and then let's say it writes value 5. Now let's assume that process P1 returns back 9, the first read, and the second read returns back 5. Now, what does it mean that the atomic register ensures linearizability? Roughly speaking, this means that given an execution generated by an atomic register, such as this one here, we could place linearization points in this execution so that an execution following this linearization point behaves the same way as an execution generated from a sequential register. So let's try to place those linearization points. So for example, here, the linearization point could be that First, the value of 9 is written to the register, then process P1 reads this register, then process P2 performs the write to, to the register of value 5, and then process P1 reads value 5 from this register. So if you see, if we order this operation in the order of the linearization points, what we're going to have is first write 9, and then what we're going to read is value 9, and then we're going to write 5, and then we're going to read 5. So this is what we would expect from a sequential register. So in what follows we will see some example of executions and answer whether these executions could have been generated by an atomic, or maybe a regular, or a safe register or maybe none of those three. Okay, let's see one execution where we have three processes, P1, P2, and P3. And let's say that process P1 only performs writes, it first performs write value one, then it writes value two, and later on it writes value one again. While at the same time, process P2 performs a read operation and gets back one. And process P3 performs two read operations. First reads two, and then it reads back one. Now, could this execution be generated by an atomic register? Now, I would suggest before you listen to the answer, just pause the video maybe for a minute. Okay, welcome back. So we can see here the following, that process P3 reads 2 here, 
and process P1 writes to here. So for this to be an atomic register, it should be the case that a linearization point of write 2 should precede the linearization point of read 2. So we might have something like this. But this means what? It means that the linearization point of read 1, which can be anywhere in this range, comes after the linearization point of the write that wrote value 2. So there is no way where process uh, P3 could read 1 here if this was to be an atomic register. But could this execution be an executed generated by a regular register? So let's see. Now this read here returns 1 and it's concurrent with the write that writes 1. So this read is OK. Now this read here also reads 1 and it's concurrent with the write that writes 2. But since it's concurrent with the write, it could return the previously written value, which was 1. So this read is also fine. And here we have a read that returns 2, but it's concurrent with a write that writes 2. So this is also fine. So this is indeed could have been the execution of a regular register. Let's see another example. Let's say we have four processes in this case. Process P1, process P2, process P3, and process P4. And let's say process P1 performs to write. It first writes value 1 to the register. And later on, it writes value 2 to the register. Now let's say process P2 performs a read that returns back 1. Process P3 performs also a read that returns back 2. And finally, process P4 performs a read that reads back 2. So can this be an atomic register? Again, if you want, just stop the video and think a bit for a second. So as we see here, the write of value 2 takes place here, so any linearization point would be somewhere here, while the read that reads back value 2 takes place here. So in other words, this means that the register first reads 2 and then the write of 2 takes place. So this is not to be expected by a sequential register, so definitely this execution cannot be from an atomic register. Can it be from a regular register? Let's see. So in this case here we have a read that returns back 2, but it's not concurrent with any write. Since it's not concurrent with any write, it should return the previously written value, which was 1. So again, this execution cannot be an execution of a regular register. Can it be safe? Again, it cannot be safe because this read here is not concurrent with any write. So it, it should also return the previously written value, which is 1. So it's also not safe. And let's see a final, a third example. So as here we have three processes, P1, P2, and P3. And now consider that process P1 performs three write operations. It first writes value 1, then writes value 2, and then it writes value 1 again. While at the same time, process P2 reads back value 1. And then finally, process P3 reads back value 2. So can this be an execution of an atomic register? Indeed it can. And to show this, we just have to find the linearization points. So first, let's say we could linearize this operation here. And then the read takes place, let's say, here. And then we have the write 2, let's say somewhere here. And then this read that returns back 2 is linearized here. And of course, this write here has to be linearized after the read operation return 2. So let's say here. And now, based on this linearization points, if we consider the execution, what we have is that we first perform the write 1, then we read back 1, then we write 2, then we read 2, and finally, we write 1 again. 
Now this is what we would expect from a sequential register. So indeed, since we managed to find linearization points in this execution, that makes sense. So indeed, this could be an execution of an atomic register. 